something looks weird over there. Aha! What is this? Oh, hello. Hello. What is this? Oh my god. Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 96 of my AVP Let's Play series. So, today I wanted to actually explore Nunku's base, even though it's completely blown up. I was hoping that I could probably salvage something of some interest, maybe, because I really want Nunku back and I don't know how to get him. Like, I, I, I just don't know how. I don't have this predator technology, I don't know how to use this predator technology that I gather. I have it, I have chunks of it everywhere, but I don't know how to put it all together. So, we're going to actually just see if we can salvage something from his base of any information. Also, we have a new Patreon, Lady Snugglebug. Thank you for becoming a Patreon. I will probably be making your request, the the Ultramorph cage. Uh, I will do a separate video on it. Um, it'll be another speed build. However, the Ultramorph itself will not be a statue, but the cage will be, will, will be a statue. So, it'll be like an Ultramorph in a, in a cage. Anyway, back to the episode. So, I'm actually going to equip some neat stuff. I'm going to grab my sword, grab my pickaxe, and this, and my portal gun, and that's enough. Cool. Alright, let's go explore Nunku's base and see what has happened and see if we can find anything of any interest. It's just taken me a while to just get over his disappearance. And the destruction of his base. I haven't been able to go around here since. Uh, due to emotions. So. They're flooding back. The emotions are flooding back. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. They really wanted to send a message to me by blowing his entire base up. So this whole area looks like the only intact section. Like, uh, there's little intact sections over here. I'm assuming if he was hiding something, it was probably... He's, he's really good at hiding sp secret rooms inside of room. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for sections of the base that are still intact, which is barely any of it. And we're going to see... Like, like, this, 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 like this section, for instance. Or, or this section. Or, the, or this section. <laughs> this section, for instance. Okay, so this is still intact. So, I'm going to be looking around for little doorways, because he loves to keep those little doorways everywhere. So, I can't believe this is still intact. Wow. His base was giant. Oh, wait. Yeah, he built this, didn't he? This is one of the first rooms he built when he was living with us. So, I'm not even going to look like any of the... I'm going to take these, by the way. <laughs> um, so, he loves hiding doors that are the same type of block as the walls. So... Basically, what I gotta do is I gotta analyze every single door, every single roof, every single, um, I mean, every single ceiling, every single piece of fucking block, and just look for any irre irregularities throughout the walls and stuff. Because he is really, really shifty. And, oh my god, I didn't know he had any ineffable glass. I'm taking this. <laughs> he's, he's, uh, I was about to say he's dead. I don't think he's dead, but he's gone. And I don't think he's gonna be using this base anymore, so I'm just gonna take this stuff. Okay. Oh, I remember this. This was the, um... This looks like the, yeah, the first mining section that we did in the first episodes of the whole series. Man, that was so long ago. It's been a really long time since we started this series. Wow. So, I don't think he ended up building anything down here at all. No, he never actually went into my mine. He, sticked, he stuck to, um, the base. The only other intact sections I can see are over here and here. So, judging from the color of this, I think this was the secret room that he had all the supply drops in. And then we have the... This was his Tinker's area, yep. I remember using this stuff. He, he didn't know, don't tell him if we see him again. <laughs> but I used to use his Tinker's area. I used to sneak in and use it. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing we did over there and just have a look through all the ceilings and everything.
It looks like there's a whole bunch of stuff underneath us where we built. Like there's a rail system and stuff. Something looks weird over there. Aha! What is this? Oh, hello. Hello. What is this? Oh my god. What the hell? What is this? Carpenter's safe and anvil. Interesting. Looks like he's been naming things. Uh, what's in here? Okay. Um, what? Utava clan. Young blood sample three, young blood sample two, and a safari net with a young blood sample one. Wow, okay. I'll take this, I guess. Um, let's head back into my base and go read this. I knew I'd find something. I knew I'd find something. I absolutely knew it. Before I go back, though, I do, however, want to want really. I want to have a really quick, quick look again throughout the entire crater. I just want to double check that I did not miss anything. So I'll probably meet you back at the base, and we'll read this book. Okay, guys, we're back. I could not find anything else of any interest. Um, I'm actually going to grab these young blood skulls. I'm going to leave them over here for now in my inventory. Uh, we'll chuck them in here. He named them sample one and sam I mean sample two and sample three, and this one was sample one. This one looks this one's alive. So that's interesting. Okay, let's see what this book says. Utava clan interrogation log. Okay, sample one is weak and has given me much information regarding the treaty with the humans. He is a disgrace to the Utava clan, and would be to any other considering how fast I broke him. Okay. Sample 2 has proven to be a stubborn receptant to my methods of gathering information. I will store him for further analysis at a future date. Wait a minute. <laughs> that was Sample 2. Okay, it looks like he killed him. <laughs> oh my god. Um, sample 3 has revealed he is the leader of the trio of the Young Bloods. Interesting, we're getting more information now. Any further attempts to extract more information were unsuccessful as with Sample 2. It seems Sample 1 is the most youngest and most naive. Sample 1 would be kept in stasis for further question. Interesting. So, not only was Nanku hunting other species on this game reserve, he was interrogating his own kind. <laughs> Man, he's a psychotic bastard. Jesus Christ. I wonder if he started interrogating chickens as well. Maybe that's why he liked the form of a chicken. <laughs> I'm just completely hypothesizing here. This is, uh, this is some good news. Um, not exactly good news. I mean, it's, it's really bad news that I found this in Nunku's area. I mean, it's, it's only bad news because I miss him. That I'm not even making any sense now. I'm just letting emotions overwhelm me because I miss Nunku. Okay, okay. It is good news that we found this. It's still bad news that Nunku's missing. However, it is really good news that we have this stuff. Because now I can get some answers out of this bastard. Um, I'm curious to see how willing this this um, this Yacha here in Sample 1 is going to respond to questions. So, I think I'm going to have to make some sort of interrogation chamber. I don't exactly want to use my translation chamber. Because it's not... It's not set up to interrogate. Like, it's not... It's it's only set up for friendly no negotiations or um, anything that re would require no prodding or, like... What we're going to be doing is we're going to be probably attacking the Yacha and torturing it into answering any questions. And I don't have that set up in this room. So I'm probably going to set up another, another one of these translators in a different room. Possibly. It'll probably look different. I'll see if I can do a different build. But I will make an interrogation room. And we will begin from there and we'll see what happens. So, yes. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to build the thing in between episodes. Because I think this is episodes running about 10 minutes, I think, already. Um, so, what we're going to do. So, this episode was about um, scavenging... F 
Naku's base for any information that we could find. We did find inf information, which is a really good thing. So next episode will be the interrogation. I'm hoping we get something good out of this Yacha. I think it's pretty much the last chance we have. Um, I was thinking of interrogating Yacha that I already, ha already have in Safari Nets. However, they are clones. Uh, so the original Yacha that I found is dead by now, I think. And all that exists in my AE systems um, and my chests are clones of the original. So I'm not entirely sure if the clones keep the memories of the original. So this seems to be an original. This seems to be an original Yacha that came down to the planet um, in, a, in a trio. I, see, I, I assume they were hunting or something for honor or something. They usually come down sometimes to the game reserves to hunt um, species. So it seems Nanku managed to <laughs> capture three of them. Interesting. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I will be sure to make the uh, interrogation chamber in between episodes. Um, I'm hoping it'll look good. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it looks good or not. It's just um, so we can get it working. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll probably set up, like, some sort of dispenser as well that just shoots arrows at him. And then I can have, like, a flint and steel as well to set him on fire if he doesn't want to answer. But, yeah. It'll be a classic interrogation slash torture chamber um, just to get information out of him. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we, we find Nanku soon. Adios.